Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. Okay, some like it vintage. Welcome to Goodwood and the Festival of Speed. Some like it hot. Welcome to the Festival of Speed. And some like it loud. Hi everybody, it's Brian Johnson from ACDC. Welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Just have a fantastic time. It's my first time here. And I think I've died and I've gone to heaven. Look at this. We are, we are real, real petulants. You've got to be here to feel it. The noise and the atmosphere, it's the same every year, but it just, I don't know, it's good. Everyone seems to be on a good vibe. 200,000 fans can't be wrong, and everyone who's anyone from the history of international motorsport wouldn't miss it for the world. This is mixed with everything. You have time to see the fans, you have to see the old colleagues, uh, you have, you have to see, time to see the beautiful cars. You can mix with everything. This is this is great event, and that's why that's why this event is so special. Everything to do with two or four wheels is what you see here. In fact, even really exclusive machines that you actually don't see anywhere else. In creating this spectacle, car companies, race teams, and private owners are all following the idea of the undisputed high octane king, the Earl of March. Yet he had originally planned the Festival of Speed merely as an interim solution. We have a great racetrack here at Goodwood, which my grandfather built in 48, and he closed that in 66, 1966, and we looked at trying to get that going again in 91, because I was passionate about it as a child. I'd go there with him, I'd meet all the drivers, and uh, I absolutely loved it. So he closed that in 66. When I came to live at Goodwood in 91, I thought, you know, could I get this going again? So uh, I then got very, very, very involved in trying to make that happen. It became obvious quite fast that it was going to take a long time. And we thought, what could we do in the meantime? So we started the Festival of Speed and it grew and grew. And today, it's a firm fixture on many people's calendar. New for 2010, in the Dunlop Stable Yard, the stars get presented to fans live on the inside racing stage. BTCC or Formula One, modern supercars and legends. Goodwood, a matter of honor, and even Sterling Moss made sure to drop by. The 80-year-old isn't letting anything slow him down, not even his fall down a lift shaft. Of course I'm driving here, I mean, uh... I'm, at the moment I'm in the wheelchair because it's a lot more comfortable because uh, walking isn't very comfortable but certainly I hope to drive up the hill tomorrow and I'm hoping to race next, next month at uh, Silverstone so I'm ready to go nearly. Indomitable racing driver spirit, a real one-off as are many of the countless vehicles here on show. Over 100 years of speed, as far as the eye can see gems and restored originals from their spark plugs to their tires. Here we go, a quick inside racing Concorde d'Elegance. The beauty of this car is it doesn't matter what the um, weather is like because in the dry it's lovely but in the wet when other cars slow down the, this just cuts through uh, the wet so it's a beautiful car this is a just get in and enjoy well this is a rare bird to be honest to you uh, it's a Seata, and Seata was a small company very closely associated with Fiat that is a very advanced car this car is from 1952 it's really set up for racing, ultra light, all in aluminium, extremely low, independent, independent sprung suspension. At the time, quite unusual. You know, the car was exhibited at the Torino Motor Show, that is, you know, the number one motor show in Italy in 1952. And that particular week, also the Mille Miglia started. And they had to remove the car after a few days from the stand of Seata to prepare it for the Mille Miglia the same weekend. So that was quite in a hurry. Fast and unique, the 500 Grand Prix starts by Lotus. Clive, son of founder Colin Chapman and head of the classic team, introduces us to one of his treasures. So this is the Lotus Ford Type 38, chassis number one. 
which is the winner of the 1965 Indy 500 race. And this is the actual car that Jimmy, crossed, Jimmy Clark crossed the line in, having won the race, and then switched it off, got out, and um, has never been driven since. And today at Goodwood is the first time the car has been driven in public since that day. It's the first time that the Team Lotus came up with a full monocoque. Effectively, the driver is sitting inside a cylinder and there's a hole cut in the top. Um, the fuel for the car, which is methanol, is all along the side of the cockpit. So basically, the driver is sitting inside the fuel tank. And this is how Formula One was in those days. Racing in the hot seat. Incidentally, the honor of performing this comeback went to none other than Jackie Stewart. Goodwood. Also a place where history is made, in loud and legendary fashion. Talking of which, Hard Rock Warhorse Brian Johnson also enjoyed an unforgettable drive in a Brabham. It was wonderful, uh, but it was very historic motor car, so I took very careful. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was the 1967 World Championship car. So I took it nice and easy, best day of my life. Let the engines roar and the circuit rock. A festival of speed at Goodwood, a treasure chest of motorsport stories. Drivers really close up. The setup of early racing cars and the hottest machines around. They're all coming up in the next edition of Inside Racing. Stay tuned, we'll be back from the Festival of Speed. <laughs> Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.